What are you doing? What are you doing? You realize you're assaulting him. He started assaulting people first. He elbowed my friend. So I'm not hurting him. He just ran out of nowhere. It's a parade of fetishes. It has really nothing to do with same-sex rights activism. It's now all about gender ideology, which I find to be deeply homophobic, misogynistic, a detriment to the movement. I became involved in gay rights uh, at a very young age. I was in my late teens. We, we happened to be present uh, walking by Stonewall at the time that the riot broke out, focused our activism on that event. We were there every night. We distributed leaflets, we organized, and that became the Pride March. There were no trans people involved in the organization. It was lesbians and gay men. They, there was a number of articles written during Pride Month a few years back stating that Black trans women were the ones that started the riots. They were, if, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have any rights. Like you said, it started with lesbian and gays, lesbians and gays. Then later on, bisexuals, you know, came in, hey, we exist too. And then later on, the tea was added. And the fact that, you know, the media, institutions, colleges, and of course, like teenage white girls with blue hair have all recently been fighting for the idea of gender identity. In turn, by their definition of what gender is, erases homosexuality. A person born male that still has a penis can identify as a lesbian, good for them. I don't have a problem with that part of it, but when you tell me, that I have to find said person attractive because I'm a lesbian and lesbians like women and this person identifies as a woman, then I have an issue with it. I, I, I was very much retired until 2019. Mm -hmm. And I was invited to a, an event in Paris and, and you know, it was an honor to go. Um, and when I got there, the story that I heard about what happened at Stonewall was just completely alien to my experience and spent six months reading and reaching out to everybody that I could, including trans people. Every trans person ignored me. I don't hate transgender people. I, I think everybody has the right to live and live the life that they wanna live. But by the same token, I don't have to believe in what they believe in. That does not happen when you're working with a gender ideologue. You either buy it all and stay silent about your concerns or they are going to come at you. And that was my experience on Sunday. Um, so the, you were at the Pride Parade in Burlington, Vermont. You had a sign, uh, Gay Not Queer? Gay Not Queer, that was one okay. side. But okay. the, side that really, the, the side that really offended them was the side that had the red circle with a red line across it and the words blackface, woman face. They had a lot of young people in their group. Well, they saw me with the sign and one young man uh, in a gown uh, and waving a trans flag uh, ran out of the, their group and, and stole my sign. You caught up to him. I, I brought my sign back. I resumed my position and I, and I held the sign. He had damaged it, the pole. You know, the sign was ripped from the pole, but I had my pole and my sign and my cane and you know I was there uh, holding it up for the crowd to see. Right. And uh, another person came out of the group, a man in fishnet, and he just glared at me. And then more of his friends came and surrounded me, and that's when the tussling started. I was being pushed from left to right. Uh, people were claiming I was hitting them, uh, and it just wasn't the case. I was getting slapped on the head. Somebody dumped a coffee on me. Uh, people kept pushing up against my sign, pushing me hitting me with umbrellas. There's a photograph of somebody poking me in the back with an umbrella. Mm -hmm. uh, and it went on for a good 15 minutes or so until the parade ended. And just as it was ending, they knocked me to the ground. That's the picture that, that people have been seeing. You have to keep in mind that the reason they feel that they're in the right is because they really believe that they're on the right side of history. The reason that we're, we're at odds with these people is because most of them believe to believe what gender to be is is like ever changing. In turn, what that does is it moves it continuously moves the goalposts with policing our attractions and behaviors, right? So the simple fact that you literally had a sign that said gay not queer even 5 years ago would have been like why is this man getting beaten up or why is this man getting harassed? Like I don't get it. Now we see things like that.
dozens of, of mini movements uh, like the LGBT. The LGB Alliance. Get the L out. They're right. Get the, get the L, L out. out. Yeah, yeah, get the L out is a big one. That's in the, I believe that was also in the UK. Just to, just this afternoon, a, a tweet came out from JK Rowling and she pointed, or she was retweeting the LGB Alliance tweet about what happened to me. And mm -hmm. she, she said, it's time for people to recognize that this is, I forget the exact words, but an, an yeah. authoritarian, authoritarian violent movement. And she's right. She's right the far left is, and I think you talked about this in the very beginning of the stream, they're the actual hom uh, homophobes, transphobes, and misogynists, right? Yeah. If you don't believe yeah. in, in gender, you're kind of against the concept of being uh, what, what being trans is. If you don't know what a woman is, you can't be homosexual, right? right? And that, that's a misogyny thing. Or if you don't, if you can't define what a woman is, like, it just yeah. doesn't make any sense. It says, uh, so diverse and tolerant, the T is going to destroy the L and the G if something isn't done to put the trans lunacy in check. We agree. I think, yes. I think Ed and I both agree, which is why we're Sorry. constantly talking out against, against this lunacy, as you said. Um, somebody said the Rainbow Mafia is already strongly considering cutting ties with the trans community over things like this as well. To be specific, I want to say it's not trans people that we have issue with because like I have friends like Blair White, Buck Angel, even trans friends that aren't necessarily politically aligned in the same way I am. They are, I guess not, I don't know if it would be culturally aligned, but maybe it's just scientifically aligned. Like they understand logic and science and though, and those aren't the people that we dislike. We dislike the people that aren't making sense that are conflating gender and biological reality and who who simply are telling us that we're bigots for our attractions right because it doesn't align with whatever they consider sexual orientation to be we have more we're, we're more at odds with the young activists the young queers queer activists non-binary people that that are kind of i don't know it's just everything Everything to the left of science, I guess, is really where where we're at. Many of these people, uh, it, it's it, it's a desire to be an authoritarian, and uh, it, it's it's something that you you need to grow out of. Uh, when I was very young, I thought I had all of the answers, and every day that I'm alive, I realize how much I I didn't know back then. And they they really do believe that they know everything. And yes. it's so apparent that they don't. A lot of this stems from a lot of this needing to be uh, a perfect citizen or uh, virtue, all these virtue signals, right? Like I, I am the yeah. least racist, the least homophobic, the least, the most inclusive, blah, blah, blah. All this stems, in my opinion, a lot of it stems from lack of religion. And this is coming from a non-religious person, by the way. Yeah, yeah, I think it is. It's very interesting, and you can't deny the fact that over the years, people have, as a, as a, as a society, we become less religious. And the truth is, and this is a spiritual thing that I believe in. I think we all deeply want to believe that there's something more than just our bodies. We want to know how to live uh, our best lives, how to be, how 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 to uh, connect on deeper levels how to be the best person we could be. And in the past, we went towards, we went to religion to give us those answers. Now we don't have a religion to go. I mean, we do, but a lot of people aren't following it. So they found this new religion called wokeness. And, and my thing is I call it the word of woke instead of the word of God. I say the yeah. word of woke. The, the new religion is literally, go I'm going to be, would you say the what? I'll go along with that. That's it's, why I make the comparison to religion. That, oh, that it's, it is it's an excellent comparison. Oh, for sure. Excellent yeah. comparison. I think when people feel like they're not, when people feel like they don't belong, they search for meaning. Uh, sometimes that meaning is an outside source, right? Like I'm going to pray to God, or sometimes it's a community. And right now, I mean, it's so obvious to me at this point, but a lot of people haven't seen it. Maybe they'll see it now when listening to this. 
the people that are that have been treated the worst, I guess you could say, or not even treated worst. They're just they weren't invited to the party by right. the by the queer activists were straight white people. So what do we see more of in the queer community more than ever today? Straight white people. That's right. <laughs> and That's it's right. and it's not because and it's because they're they're taking on these new identities, non-binary, gender non-conforming, uh it, basically any any label that doesn't actually mean having gender dysphoria or being same sex attracted these people will take on these new uh these new labels because they want to be a part of of the cool kids or the, at least they don't want to be bullied you know, you know? i make the religion comparison but the, the, what what they demand is closer to what a cult demands of its That's, adherents absolutely and, uh the the the, the two are almost identical.